Now, let's debate. Now, let's debate. So. <laughs> so, you were talking a lot of stuff there, not giving a lot of evidence for it. Right. I will give you that I have seen evidence that there were bombings of churches in Pakistan and many people did die. And then there's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to happen. However, not a single Muslim today would say that's a good thing or an acceptable thing. Every single Muslim would band together against whoever did that. Right. Every single Muslim would help you fight that. Don't so, ladies and gentlemen, you all heard the claim. Yeah. Every Muslim yes. would oppose that. Yes. But the pogrom against the Christians in Pakistan was incited by the mosques by and the imams. What what they are the ones. It was a Muslim attack upon the Christians. So were they Muslim? Genuine question. Were they Muslim? Ge okay, I'm going to answer this question because I can't answer your question. I don't know the answer. He where doesn't know. Did, where did you get your answer that they are definitely Muslim? It definitely came from a mosque and it's definitely an imam. Because you've given no names. You just said Muslim country. They're all Muslim. It was definitely Muslim. I'm here saying no. I will help you fight whoever did this, bro. I'm saying I will help you. So you shouldn't hate me for trying to help So you. what do you think should happen to people who desecrate a Quran? They should be put on trial in a court of law dictated by the religion that they follow and they should be sentenced accordingly. The punishment for murder in Islam is death, period. Right, you so now answer me this question. Yes. In, the, in Pakistan, uh -huh. who would be inspired to violence if they saw a desecrated Quran, would Hindus be inspired to violence if they saw a desecrated Quran? I've seen Quran? a lot of that. I'm not gonna lie. This, but this, guys, if you Hindus believe are, this, are this whitewashing, I mean, then you're gullible. Here, but I'm just, you asked about Hindus. And I'm saying literally, he can't face up to the happened. fact that Muslims were persecuting Christians in Pakistan. Use your own logic. If a Quran was desecrated, who's likely to attack the people blamed for desecrating the Quran? An angry person who doesn't understand their religion. And what religion do you think that would come from? Okay, can we have a conversation besides you feeling me answer to give you? Go on. Okay. So it is true that Pakistan is a Muslim country. It's true that this happened in a Muslim country. Guys, don't feed these people. Don't feed him. He's just a troll. Focus over here. Go on. Okay. I'm from Pakistan. Can okay, I answer that? I, I've just been waiting a while, sorry. From everywhere. You're making a lot of assumptions about Muslims as a collective being okay with this. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, it's been like a running theme for us. No, I, no, that's not true. Prove it. Prove it. You put it on tape. You said that it's a Muslim. Uh, what was it? What was the I said it was a Muslim mob that attacked a Christian colony. Oh, yeah. Is that is that false? Is that false? I don't know. I can't verify it. And so since you can't verify it, why were you stood there the whole time I was talking saying that it was not true? Because no Muslim would kill or kill Christians in mass or burn and destroy churches. It is completely wrong. And any Muslim here today, nod your head if you agree, would say that it's categorically wrong. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, right, like, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on one second. I think your sentiments are laudable. I think your sentiments are laudable. Whether you're consistent in your sentiments will yet to be re to be seen. But the fact that you couldn't even acknowledge or accept that a Muslim mob attacked a Christian colony crying out blasphemy and Allahu Akbar and the video evidence you can find on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, because of who attacks a Christian colony because of a desecrated Quran? Who does that? May I ask you? Ladies and wait, 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 one second. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that you can't even bring yourself to acknowledge that makes me think, makes me think. So I'll just read. Let, let, I'm going to read from CNN. I'm going to read from CNN. CNN? Yeah. Okay, great start. Yeah, great start. A news service, an internationally recognized Check news service. Go ahead. A crowd vandalized eight churches and several homes following accusations of blasphemy against Islam. So that was the spark. So who is likely to attack Christians because of blasphemy against Islam. Someone that I would hate. If they call themselves Muslims, I disagree. That's not answering the question. Who's likely to do that? 
anyone that is angry at that. It could uh, be anyone. And who's likely to be angry at that? It could be anyone, bro. Do you see the obfuscation, ladies and gentlemen? The reason being he is whitewashing an anti... But Muslims did but they don't. do this. They did and they did do this. He's Who literally the denying it. The most important church in all of Christianity. Who holds the keys and has done so for generation upon generation? Okay, it's a Muslim this? family. Thank right. You. If and who were, desecrated the Hagia Sophia okay by turning it into a mosque? Do you not think who turned, who turned Hagia Sophia in... in they did! Al-Hakim flattened the Hagia Sophia we church. That's a lie. That is not a lie. He <laughs> said that it was a lie that the, the church of Hagia Sophia was flattened by Al-Hakim. So let me just demonstrate that he doesn't know what he's talking about. Let me just demonstrate you don't know what you're talking you about. You don't, because the, <laughs> you're talking about a different church, surely, because the one that you hold most important, we hold the keys, and it's a good uh, relationship. Let me just show you. My point is that you're making it seem as though Muslims are, are, a, are a danger to churches and people in general, when I'm here saying everybody here would help you in stopping these idiots. But you're not, though, are you? Yes. No, you're literally not. You're literally obfuscating. You're, you're, you're literally obfuscating. I'm literally saying you stood right there or yeah. trying to whitewash anti-Christian violence the in the Muslim world. world. That's what you're doing. You're an apologist it's for violence that that and you're trying to obfuscate. When they've been doing this for the last like 20 years old and it's getting worse and worse. Do you know what's happening in India? Because you probably don't, because you probably don't care. However, businesses are being destroyed. M Muslim people are being killed, raped. Anyone that was in prison for rape or murder of a Muslim is being let out so they can do it again. Police are joining in on the mobs that are destroying businesses, killing children, assaulting buses of people going to their pilgrimage. They are doing this constantly, but you are saying that a Hindu wouldn't do it to a Muslim? Now notice, oh, did I not tell you that he would try to change the topic? No, no, no. Did I not tell you he would try to change the topic? And that is exactly what he's trying to do. Now let me show you, let me show you that this apologist for violence against Christians doesn't know what he's talking about. I pointed out that Al-Hakim destroyed the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. He said I was lying. So let's just read. In September 29, in 1009, Al-Hakim, the Fatimad Caliph, ordered the governor of Ramla, called Yaruk, to demolish the area around Constantine's original Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Yaruk, along with his son Yusuf, Al Hussein ibn Zahir al Wazan and Abul Farwiz al Daif were among those who started destroying various buildings. Christians believed the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is built on the site of Calvary or Golgotha. So, ladies and gentlemen, they destroyed the buildings of the church Around of the, the holy sepulchre now here. notice the he's trying to whitewash it, it again yeah, he's the one that read it wrong. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the reality the is the the simply google the destruction the of the hagia sophia church in jerusalem by al hakim and this is the mindset of the islamist this is the mindset of the Islamist to always try and obfuscate about the persecution of Christians. So if you want to help against the I will offer to help. Any Muslim here will be happy to help. Okay, so here's but here's where you stop. But don't twist it. Here's where you stop. Right, firstly, I never said that. That's a lie. Secondly, that's no, that's not what I implied. That's also a lie. You are simply an obfuscator, a whitewasher, and an apologist. Have I lied to for, you? Yes, you have. Where's the lie? And then an, and you are supporting anti-Christian bigotry because you are an apologist and a whitewasher. 
Right, so here's how you help. Condemn the anti-Christian pogrom and condemn those Muslims that did it. It's right there, condemn the Muslims that did it. Any Muslim that destroys the church is not a Muslim. Read your Quran, read that Allah hates that kind of behavior and that we should be brothers with people that worship only one God, okay? Never, ever, 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 ever desecrate a church. Great, fine, fair play, he said it. Now show me in the Quran where it says if you desecrate a church, you're not a Muslim. You know what, let me take a minute, I'll find it. Yep. You know why? Because no such verse exists. I literally said I'm going to look for it. I, just, I don't know numbers off the top of my head. That's fine. In the meantime, let me just show you what the Quran actually says about the treatment of Christians. Guys, you're just letting him hijack He's just a troll. He comes here and he hijacks every conversation. Don't let him dominate you. Find your voice to speak up for persecuted Christians and don't let him kidnap the topic. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let him kidnap the topic because this is how they behave. I try to raise awareness about persecuted Christians and trolls like these two come in and try to get you to think about something else. Don't pay him attention. Just ignore him. He's answer, just a troll. Answer, answer. Just you ignore him. Money, more subscribers. He answer. He answer that right. 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 Go on, from the Quran. Yep. So, chapter 22, 40. Let's go there. Let's see. Wait, let, let, me, let me get there. Let me get there. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 22, 40. Bear with us. I haven't actually read this. It's just the first thing I've seen of the Quran on this website. Okay. Hopefully you'll find it in there. 22. They couldn't, they couldn't defend their religion while they're telling me some contradiction. 2240, there, go on. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, you can read it if you want, I can read it if you want. Right. There are those who have been evicted from their homes without right, only because they say our Lord is Allah. No. And were it not that Allah checks the people by some means or others, they would have been demolished. There would have been demolished monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques in which the name of Allah must be mentioned. Allah will surely support those who support him. Indeed, Allah is most powerful, exalted in might. So that is one protecting churches, saying that anyone that has ever praised Allah, those places are to be protected. And if they were not protected, they would be destroyed already. So, that's number one. I'm trying to find there's another word. Right, so let me address that. Okay. So he's found a verse. Let's analyze the verse and let's clearly what it says while he finds another one. Okay. So it says, Right, they are those who have been expelled from their homes in defiance of right, except that they say our Lord is Allah. So in other words, who is he talking about? He's talking about Muslims. That's who he's talking about. He's talking about what happened to Muslims. Let's read on. Had not Allah checked one set of people by means of another, there would surely have been pulled down monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques in which the name of Allah is commemorated. Ladies and gentlemen, no church commemorates the name of Allah. The Quran is referencing mosques, synagogues, and churches that have been co-opted to the worship of Allah. It is not talking about protecting churches and mosques, churches and synagogues. It's talking about churches and synagogues that have been confiscated and taken over to the worship of Allah and preventing those from being destroyed. It's not talking about protecting Christian churches and synagogues. And we see this because Muhammad himself said that he desired that all the Christians and Jews should be expelled from the Arabian Peninsula. Oh all of them. Mohammeds, 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 Mohammeds. Now notice, notice the mockery and the ridicule. Oh We're talking about the desecration of churches and he's making fun. That tells you his mindset. Well, it tells true. you Christians who that's we're up true. against. And it tells you, and he's abusing an elderly lady. All right. 
Sorry, this person is a liar. He has a Quran. He you read. saw it with your own so eyes. It's very clear that ladies and gentlemen, it's going to benefit on the day of judgment between him and him, me and him. God will judge, and I pray that God judges with absolute fairness and absolute certainty, and that whatever happens, both of us will be will accept the consequences. And. Uh, there is no reason to listen to this person further. I agree, it's horrible to destroy churches. Good, you're better than Islam. Should destroy a church. Good, you're better than the caliphs. Or a synagogue. You're better than the companions the way, of the prophet. By the way, all of the, uh, there are many hadiths saying this. I scrolled past when I was looking for Quran, so I didn't mention it. Look for hadiths on it, you'll find it. No Muslim should do it. But if you're going to assume that Muslims are okay with doing it or, should, or are doing Did it. Did I say all Muslims? So no. With that one, I'll leave you to it. Right, he's and, walking uh, away. Have a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen. As good as you can get. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you saw the behavior for yourselves. You've got to be able, ladies and gentlemen, to recognize that our liberal elites are turning a blind eye to the threat that is being faced by Christians. We've already seen Christians being attacked in East London. We're seeing churches being attacked in France. We saw this week a Christians being, a being attacked in Leicester Square by a mob of Muslims, beating them up in the street. Ladies and gentlemen, the reality is the Liberals are not going to protect Christians. We need to acknowledge that, we need to recognize that, and we need to organize ourselves appropriately. The fellowship that I go to has started its own fight club. We're training up the men to defend themselves. Every Christian fellowship in the country should start up training of Christian men in self-defense so that Christians can defend themselves if they are asked to. Christians need to take physical training seriously. I'm not the perfect example of this. There's far better examples of this than me. But Christians need to take physical training seriously because when you need the police, they will not be there. They do not care because the elites of this country do not care about discrimination and persecution of Christians. He said that no Muslim ever would desecrate a church. Go and look at what they did to Hagia Sophia Church. They, from a church, they turned it into a mosque. And go and look up the list of churches that were turned into mosques or demolished or destroyed by Muslims. Ladies and gentlemen, the whitewasher, the apologist, for Islamist violence against Christians could not even bring himself to acknowledge that there was a problem. Don't, if you're a Christian, do not be passive in the face of such apologia. Don't be passive in the face of such apathy. Educate yourselves, organize yourselves, unite with one another, train, mobilize and resist.